Millions in Syria and Iraq are facing water shortages as the region's longest river, the Euphrates, dries up. Prepare to be astounded by the startling revelation that has shaken the world. The once sacred Jordan River, renowned for its religious and historical significance, has undergone a chilling transformation. Its waters, once revered for their symbolic importance across cultures, have turned a haunting shade of crimson, a dire omen of impending doom. But the mystery surrounding this sacred waterway only deepen as recent events unfold. Amidst the eerie crimson hue, a shocking truth emerges. The river, a lifeline for countless civilizations, now lies barren and desolate. What grim enigma lies concealed within its depths? What ancient secrets have been unearthed, laid bare for all to see? Could the river's desolation be a divine reckoning, a harbinger of divine wrath? Join us as we delve into the heart of this enigmatic saga, uncovering the hidden truths that defy explanation. Brace yourself for a journey into the unknown as we confront the looming specter of tribulation and seek solace in the power of prayer. Jordan River's dry up is happening? Now, if Jesus were to immerse himself in the Jordan River, he might find it impossible. This once mighty biblical waterway has been reduced to a mere trickle, resembling more a stagnant sludge than the revered lifeline it once was. Back in the early 1960s, the river flowed with vigor, transporting 1.3 billion cubic meters of fresh water annually from the Sea of Galilee to the Dead Sea. However, in recent years, this flow has dwindled dramatically, plummeting by over 90% to a mere 100 million cubic meters. This stark decline in Jordan's volume is not only a cause for concern in itself, but also holds dire implications for the Dead Sea. As the Jordan River shrinks, so too does the once mighty Dead Sea, its water level receding by a meter each year. At this alarming rate, the very existence of the world's saltiest large body of water hangs in the balance, teetering on the brink of oblivion. But the drying up of the Jordan River is not solely an environmental catastrophe. It carries profound historical and religious significance as well. Reflecting on biblical accounts, one is reminded of God's intervention, parting the waters of the Jordan for the Israelites, much akin to the miraculous crossing of the Red Sea with Moses. This divine act held immense significance for the Israelites, symbolizing God's providence and protection. Yet the drying up of the Jordan River today raises unsettling questions. Is this another manifestation of divine will, a continuation of God's miraculous intervention to save His people? Or is it a warning sign, a call to action amidst the burgeoning environmental crisis plaguing the region? Indeed, the challenges facing the Jordan River and its surrounding region are manifold. The small Middle Eastern nation, already grappling with aridity, faces escalating temperatures and a burgeoning population, exacerbating an already precarious situation. As we confront this modern-day crisis, we are compelled to reflect on the sacred history intertwined with these waters. Just as God once dried up the Jordan to deliver His people, so too must we heed the call to safeguard this precious resource and protect the land entrusted to us. What has happened since the Jordan River dried up? The ramifications of a dried up river reverberate across various sectors, particularly in the Middle East, where healthy waterways are vital for sustenance and economic activity. The Jordan River, in particular, plays a pivotal role in supporting crucial industries such as agriculture and tourism, and providing drinking water. In the agricultural sector, the Jordan River serves as a lifeline, facilitating irrigation for crops essential for local communities' survival. However, its diminishing flow poses a significant threat to crop growth and agricultural productivity. Moreover, the tourism industry, which thrives on religious sites along the river, faces a bleak future if Jordan's waters continue to dwindle. Pilgrims and visitors seeking to retrace Jesus' footsteps and partake in baptisms in the same river would find their experiences diminished, leading to a decline in tourism revenue. While Israeli residents have largely shifted to desalinated water from the Mediterranean Sea for drinking purposes, the loss of the Jordan River's flow would still have profound consequences. Despite technological advancements in water treatment, the river's ecological significance cannot be understated. It sustains a diverse array of life forms and ecosystems, playing an integral role in the region's environmental balance. In essence, the drying up of the Jordan River threatens not only economic stability, but also the very fabric of life in the region. Urgent measures are needed to address this crisis and ensure the preservation of this invaluable resource for generations to come. What is hidden under Jordan River? 
The drying up of the Jordan River has unveiled a myriad of mysteries deeply intertwined with biblical narratives, serving as a compelling testament to divine will. Among the most renowned tales from the Bible is that of Moses and the Exodus of the Israelites, a narrative steeped in historical and theological significance. Exodus, the second book of the Bible, has long been a subject of scholarly scrutiny, with debates surrounding its historical accuracy and the veracity of claims regarding the migration of the ancient Israelites from Egypt. In a remarkable turn of events, a team of archaeologists has unearthed evidence that corroborates the biblical account of Moses, leading the Israelites out of Egyptian bondage and into the promised land of Canaan. Despite persistent skepticism regarding the historicity of Exodus, archaeologists Ralph K. Hawkins and David Ben Shlomo have identified ruins indicative of a nomadic settlement believed to align with the biblical narrative. These ruins, characterized by low stone walls resembling animal enclosures, offer tantalizing clues suggesting the presence of nomadic people traveling from Egypt. While definitive proof linking these settlements to the early Israelites remains elusive, the discovery fuels speculation that these sites may indeed correspond to the biblical narrative of Israelites traversing the Jordan River and settling in the hill country of Israel. The archaeological expedition extends beyond mere speculation, with plans underway to excavate nearby sites such as Uja al mukherka in pursuit of further evidence supporting the existence of Israelite settlements in the region. Such endeavors underscore the interdisciplinary nature of biblical scholarship, where historical research converges with archaeological inquiry to shed light on ancient narratives. This recent discovery is but one in a series of stunning revelations that have emerged from the region in recent years. In 2013, at Kirbet El Masari in the Jordan Valley, Hawkins and Ben Shlomo unearthed stone ruins and pottery fragments dating back to the Late Bronze Age, 1400 to 1200 BC, or the Iron Age, 1200 to 1000 BC. These findings provide invaluable insights into the material culture of ancient civilizations, offering a tangible connection to the distant past. Yet, perhaps the most groundbreaking discovery in the region came with the unearthing of the Dead Sea Scrolls at Qumran. Prior to this discovery, scholars grappled with the scarcity of Hebrew manuscripts predating the 10th century AD. However, the Dead Sea Scrolls, dating back to the 2nd century BC, revolutionized our understanding of the Hebrew Bible, bridging a millennium-long gap in textual transmission. These ancient manuscripts, found within 11 caves at Qumran, contain copies of every book of the Old Testament except Esther, affirming the accuracy and reliability of the biblical texts. The discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls not only provided unprecedented access to ancient Hebrew manuscripts, but also shed light on ancient Jewish customs, such as the practice of Ganza, a tradition wherein worn-out sacred manuscripts were stored in earthen vessels and buried within caves. This practice, spanning from 48 BCE to 318 CE, underscores the reverence accorded to sacred texts within ancient Jewish communities, illuminating the cultural and religious milieu of the time. In sum, the drying up of the Jordan River has not only unraveled archaeological mysteries, but also reaffirmed the enduring relevance of biblical narratives. Through interdisciplinary collaboration and meticulous excavation, scholars continue to unearth clues that deepen our understanding of ancient civilizations and their cultural heritage. As we delve further into the depths of history, each discovery serves as a testament to the enduring legacy of the biblical narrative and its profound impact on the human experience. Why did God dry the Jordan River? The enigmatic descent of the Jordan River, once a revered site believed to be where Jesus was baptized, invites contemplation into the divine intricacies of providence. Let us embark on a journey to unravel the mysteries veiled within this phenomenon and discern the profound reasons behind God's hand at work. Firstly, drawing parallels with the iconic crossing of the Red Sea under the guidance of Moses offers profound insight into the providential nature of God's actions. The narrative of Exodus, a cornerstone of biblical history, underscores God's provision as an enduring sign to the people of Israel. By parting the waters of the Red Sea, God demonstrated His omnipotent power, ensuring the safe passage of His chosen people. This miraculous event served not only as a tangible manifestation of divine authority, but also as a testament to the unrivaled supremacy of the Lord over all other gods. Secondly, the significance of God's power in the crossing of the Jordan River cannot be overstated. As the Israelites traversed the dry riverbed, the sheer magnitude of the miracle resonated as a universal proclamation of God's sovereignty. 
Unlike the impotent deities worshipped by Israel's adversaries, the God of Israel showcased his unparalleled might, commanding even the elements to obey his will. This awe-inspiring display of divine power instilled a reverent fear in the hearts of the Israelites, compelling them and future generations to acknowledge and worship the Almighty. Furthermore, the drying up of the Jordan River served as a strategic maneuver in the divine plan for the conquest of Canaan. At a time when the river typically swelled with the melting snows of Mount Hermon, the inhabitants of Canaan felt secure behind the formidable barrier of the flooded Jordan. Yet, God, in His infinite wisdom, orchestrated a miraculous intervention, rendering the riverbed dry and facilitating the advance of His people into the Promised Land. This audacious act not only defied natural laws, but also shattered the psychological defenses of the Canaanites, paving the way for the fulfillment of God's covenant with His chosen people. Amidst speculation surrounding the mechanisms of this divine intervention, the prophetic foresight embedded within Scripture offers compelling evidence of God's preordained plan. Joshua's declaration, as recorded in Joshua 3.13, foretells the miraculous cessation of the Jordan's flow upon the arrival of the priests bearing the Ark of the Lord. Such precision defies mere coincidence, underscoring the meticulous orchestration of events by the divine hand. Furthermore, the psychological impact of witnessing such miraculous occurrences cannot be underestimated. For the Canaanites, the sight of Israel crossing the dried-up riverbed must have engendered a profound sense of dread and uncertainty. Just as Rahab attested to the melting of hearts at the news of the Red Sea's parting, the drying of the Jordan River would have intensified their fear, signaling the imminent arrival of divine judgment. In contemplating these events, one is confronted with the profound truth of God's sovereignty and providential care. While the mysteries surrounding divine intervention may confound and unsettle, we are called to trust in God's righteous purposes. The law of cause and effect, the doctrine of original sin, and the overarching providence of God all converge to affirm that every event, no matter how perplexing, serves a divine purpose ordained by the Creator. Even in the face of tragedy and uncertainty, we are reminded of God's unwavering presence and steadfast love for His people. Though His ways may be inscrutable, His ultimate desire is for our salvation and redemption. Thus, in moments of confusion and fear, let us turn to God in repentance and prayer, acknowledging His sovereignty and entrusting ourselves to His mercy and grace. In conclusion, the drying up of the Jordan River stands as a testament to the profound mysteries of divine providence. Through this miraculous act, God revealed His power, presence, and purpose, guiding His people with unwavering love and care. As we navigate the complexities of life, may we find solace in the assurance that every event is ordained by God for our ultimate good and His glory. In the face of mysteries and uncertainties, one truth remains steadfast. God's sovereignty and providence reign supreme. As we reflect on the divine interventions witnessed at the Jordan River, may we find assurance in God's unwavering love and guidance. Let us approach each day with faith and trust, knowing that even in the midst of confusion and fear, God is ever-present, working all things for our good. May we continually seek His wisdom, repentance, and grace, confident in His promise of salvation and redemption. As we journey forward, let us cling to the hope that in God's perfect timing, all mysteries will be unveiled and His glory will shine forth. Amen. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe. Your support will be our motivation. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell to update the latest video from our channel Hope to see you in the next videos. Goodbye and God bless you.